Hey, this is Kirk from Go Make Music, and today I want to show you how to quickly do your auto chops in Logic and have no clicks and no pops in under five minutes. All right, let's go. So the first thing you want to set up is your advanced preferences, your advanced tools. So preferences, advanced tools, click on this, make sure all this stuff is checked. The second thing is in your snap drop down menu. You want to make sure that snap edits to zero crossings is checked. So what a zero crossing is, let's go see if we can find one. Zero crossing is where the waveform crosses over zero, over this line here in the middle. There's one, there's one, okay? Now the thing about stereo samples is you might have a zero crossing on one that it finds but on the other side, there's not. So let's say if we tried to make an edit right here, Apple T, boom, it found it there, but not there. Let's see if we make an edit somewhere where there's not a zero crossing, watch it snap to a zero crossing. Boom, see how it, this is where I had it, but it moved it to here. Now the problem is there's a zero crossing there and there's not a zero crossing there. So you're still gonna get a pop when you bring your sample into the ESX24. So, but let's look at what we would do with like an auto chop. So we got our file set up. First thing we wanna do is analyze the file with flex. And you're gonna put this in slice mode. Now I could go in and I could set my chops specifically where I want them and then right click and slice at the flex markers. But if I wanna just do it even quicker and I like kind of what it's done with the auto detect, then I can right click and I can slice at transients. Boom. So now it's looked for zero crossings because of this drop down, but because it's stereo, it's not gonna catch them all. So what you do next is you add batch fades. So I'm gonna do like a five millisecond fade in on every file and a 10 millisecond fade out on every file, okay? Okay, so we got that going, but if I were to right click and convert to a new sampler, I would still get pops and clicks because it's not rendered these fades I just put on. So I actually have to go and export the audio as audio files individually. So I go to my, where I keep my sounds, you make a folder, I put these in my one shots, samples, and I got a folder I called piano chops. So I export that and boom, 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 boom. It's rendering each file separately with those little fades on. So then all I gotta do is go in here, grab these new audio files, drag them in. It's gonna ask me, do you wanna make new tracks, replace them with one track? Let's just do one track, okay? So now I got these new files with the fades written in. I can right click those and create the new thing. So regions, boom. I like one shots with samples. Let's do piano chops, hit okay. And it's gonna create this new instrument. So then I can go in here, open up my ES24. I usually put it in mono when I'm dealing with samples so that one sample stops when another one starts, and here we go. No pops, no clicks, glorious. And I could even pitch this down a little bit for fun. There you go, you're ready to go. So I hope that that was helpful. Remember, it's about putting those little fades on the files so you don't have to mess with attack and decay, but you gotta export them individually to your little bucket of sounds, pull them back into the session, and then export them. Once you get the hang of it, it's gonna take you just a few seconds to do this, but it'll save you so much time uh, from hunting down those pops and clicks. So if this was helpful, go ahead and give a like. If you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications. Also, there's way more tips and tricks at www.gomakemusic.org, and I got some free courses on mastering and uh, gear and mixing, so go check those out. And until next time, go make music.